my name is James Walker. I'm a Christian apologist, but even though I'm a Christian, I still learn from Atheist Edge. Hey, welcome to Atheist Edge. Chris, TJ, Trivia. Uh, we still got more of these. I don't know where we keep coming up with them. But, uh, <laughs> Jim's brain. Jim's brain and uh, that user who keeps coming up with them. Thank you. Sorry, I don't know your name. Chewbird. Chewbird. Thank you. Thank you, Chewbird. Yes. Uh, contribution Joe was appreciated. And uh, I haven't looked at these before. You haven't looked at these before. First so, time. So we are going to be learning as much as the audience. We're trivia number 40 virgins. Because we're about education. And, yeah, and all that stuff, yes. of course. So, to get this started, uh, question one. Which physical characteristic was most widely looked for to determine if somebody was a witch? This is aside from pointy hat, green skin. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Monkeys. Big, yeah, gotcha. Yes. Fuck. Uh, is it A, gray hair, B, freckles, C, arthritic knuckles, or D, foul smell? I thought it was like, throw them in a freaking body of water, and if they sink, if they sink, they were innocent, but if they float, they're a witch. Yeah. This is all just, like, <laughs> it's like everyone at Luby at 4 o'clock. What else floats? <laughs> the pieces of wood? Very small rocks? <laughs> A duck! What also floats in water? Bread! Apples! Uh, very small rocks! Cider! A great gravy! Cherries! Mud! A churches! Churches! Lead! Lead! A duck! <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Surprisingly, we're nerds here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a Python re reference if anybody didn't get that. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah, I couldn't even begin to know what that would be. Um. Well, we'll let you guess, well, and it's right there. yeah, it's 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 right. I know, but it's your job to to guess in the comments below after the video. Um, all right, so number two, how many pedophiles are estimated to be currently employed by the Catholic Church worldwide? Wow, is that that number? If that number is not zero, well, I guess I guess you could technically not get zero in any establishment, but try. you can try. So the answers, the possible answers to this are a four thousand, b six thousand. C, 8,000. D, 10,000. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty pretty much a problem, too, if they're in the thousands. Yeah. I, I mean... So I, I legit thought that was going to be how many pedophiles does it, change, does it take to change a light bulb? Yeah, I, what's, and, what's the answer to that? I, I really want to know. Th there's no answer there I want to have on the record. There's no answer I want. <laughs> I want there to be no answer to that, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, number three. At least 11 current GOP senators are members of a religious fraternal order of power brokers known as A, the Family, B, the Order of Christ, C, the Neo-Templars, or D, the Elect. Wow, that's kind of scary. It's like skull and bones type stuff. Yes, I've, I've played Assassin's Creed, so I know, yeah, it's, not, I know it's the Templars. It's, it's, yeah, the Templars. <laughs> or is it? You'll have to guess. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, yeah. All right, so this is for our, this is a question that our friends across the pond would probably be able to get. So number four is London Mayor Sadiq Khan has done all of these except A, force women to cover their hair at his public speeches, B, banned underwear ads on buses and subways, C, made women stand in the back of the crowd at his events, or D, removed pork products from all fast food restaurants. Which of those things has he not done? So, yeah. Ugh. All right. I don't even know what to say about that. Yeah. Uh, I, think the, I think the UK is in a sorry state of affairs at the moment. Hopefully that gets better for them. But... Uh, it doesn't <clears throat> sound like it's going to. It doesn't to. sound like it's going uh, to. Brexit. So, I mean, Theresa May uh, resigned, so... I mean, that's something. So good, she's getting out while still good. I'm yeah, very happy for her. <laughs> uh, and that's everything I know about British politics. That's everything we know about. Every well, I know a little bit about Brexit and UKIP. I've been doing some research lately, but yeah. All right, <clears throat> number five. After World War II, the Catholic Church sent ten thousand blanks to Australia to increase the amount of good white stock. Is it A orphans? B convicts? C, unmarried women, or D, homeless people. I think they just burned the homeless people, didn't they? 
<laughs> that, that's, that, was, that was more like a middle. Oh, ages. that was like in the, okay, yeah, that yes. would have been more like a Third Reich thing. Yeah, okay. like 1300s, they were burning homeless people for fuel. It was yeah, like, yeah, you know, because that's the most efficient fuel. Yes, homeless people. <laughs> Oh, okay. So number six. Which holy book contains the following statement? He who doubts should not expect to receive anything from his creator. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all that they do. <laughs> Was that from A, the Quran, B, the Upanishads, C, the Bible, or D, the I Ching? I, didn't, I, don't, even, I don't even think I've heard of D. Is that a, uh, I think that might be a Buddhist document. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, does, that does definitely seem like How something. How you pronounce it right then? I, Instead of I Ching. Well, I'm, Ching, well because I'm not, I, I know that everything isn't is pronounced through the lens of American etymology, so I know, you know. I don't recognize this word, so it's probably not pronounced. It's probably it's not pronounced. pronounced how I think it's pronounced, yeah. <clears throat> All right, number seven, which cult encouraged its females to engage in flirty fishing, having sex with potential new recruits? I think I have to narrow it down. Wow. Uh, it's A, Branch Davidians, B, Hare Krishnas, uh, C, Heaven's Gate, or D, Children of God. So three of those I pretty much know it could possibly be. I don't, I don't think the Hare Krishnas, like, aren't they all male monks? Or, or I guess you can be... You could be female in, in Hare Krishna's. I didn't. I always thought that was just a male-dominated sect of uh, like what is it, uh, Buddhism or something? I guess is what it's based on. Something oh. like that. I don't know. Oh. On the yeah, plus I, side, now I have a new cult to find. Yeah, and like I have some research to do. <laughs> All right, so let's go on to number eight. Number eight is where and when did Jesus ascend to heaven? Huh. Pretty straightforward question. A is option A is Bethany on the day of his resurrection. B is Mount Olivet 40 days after the resurrection. C is Galilee on the day of the resurrection. Or D, all of the above. <laughs> yep, good old contradictory yes. Bible verses. <laughs> yes. If you've read the Bible like, at all after becoming an atheist and being objective about it yeah. and you probably already know the answer to this question you've probably run up against this uh this particular answer before yet all right number <clears> nine <throat> okay this is not gonna be another one of those i don't recognize the name <laughs> so i'm going to pronounce it wrong no matter what all right let's let's butcher this the army emir ibn alas alas <laughs> destroyed which city's library in 642 ce is it a alexandria uh, B, Baghdad, C, Thebes, or D, Athens? Good question. Thankfully, yeah. the library was just full of homeless people looking at porn. So right, because so they, had to, they had to burn some fuel to, you know, keep themselves right. warm. Just, so. Once it got started, it was just so Yeah, yeah and, exactly. Yeah, no big loss there. <laughs> yeah, no big loss. Only, you know, the collected... Just a bunch just of a, homeless just people. Just a collected, yeah, just a bunch of homeless people in the collected works well, well, of, you know, all well, well, of human well, this knowledge. Was, well, this was 640, so all the porn was hand-drawn of a pirate. So. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> once it's gone, it's gone. Once that, well, yeah, once that ancient porn is gone, people don't realize it's gone, and we can't get that back, and that is a travesty. And it's, and it's ancient Egypt, so it's like, you know, body of a woman, head of a jackal. Yeah, right? Like... <laughs> Man, that jackal porn. Have you seen the latest jackal porn? <laughs> ah, Lee. That's some out there shit, She boy. made my Osiris rise again. Yes. <laughs> Chris, everybody. Oh, Chris. He's here all week. <clears throat> Let's see. I can't follow that. Oh, good, good thing it's, ten, it's number 10. Um, <laughs> number 10. <laughs> Which philosophical maxim states unlimited tolerance leads to the disappearance of tolerance? Is it A, the dichotomy of tolerance, B, the setback of tolerance, C, the paradox of tolerance, or D, the enigma of tolerance? So I, our, you know, our philosophy friends out there probably definitely already know this one, so if you guys can get it, uh, put all your guesses in the comment section below. We'll shout you out on the next one if you, if you score high or, or if you win or whatever. We'll, we'll shout you out. And uh, again, thanks to everybody for watching. Make sure you hit like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, hit the notification bell so that you're 
You stay up to date on all the stuff that we release. Uh, and with that, um, you guys have a good day, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.